Good afternoon, everyone. It's Widowed Mom Raising Two Sons back with another video. I know I haven't been on for quite some time. Um, just I, when I left my previous job, I just kind of took a couple weeks off and just kind of relaxed and enjoyed life. Um, I am back to working full time again. I'm working here from home which is wonderful. I'm home here with the kids and I just, I'm in training for six weeks and I just, so far, so good. This, I'm going on my second week and I just really, really enjoy it. So, I hope you're all doing well. Seems like forever I've been wanting to come on and it just seems like something comes up and it's just crazy busy. If you had kids in school, um, are your kids out of school? My kids, um, let's see, Tyler finished last Thursday, so he's officially a senior. He started summer school yesterday. He's taken, um, I forget which one he's taken first, if it's government or econ but he's taken that in summer and then he will take a semester of English 12. And then when he starts school back in August, he'll take um, the other semester of his English 12 because he, um, our schools here, we're fortunate enough. Um, if it's a good cause and, and they know the students going to excel Tyler will actually be done with school on December 12th, or no, December 21st. He will be done at Christmas vacation. He'll be done with school. Um, it's hard, but he will go back in May and walk the stage with his class because I have to have see my son walk across the stage and get his diploma that he's worked so, so hard for, so, so hard. Um, I know I told many of you in his eighth grade year, he moved to a school not far from here. It's a smaller school and he has excelled. Um, he had an, his final grades this year, he had an A in U.S. history. He had an A in English. He had an A in business math. And I think he came with his college welding class, I think he had a low B. So, yes, and then Trenton, he's been out of school almost two weeks, and he did really, really well. And I'm sitting at my desk, so I'll share a few things with you. Um, yeah, he did really, really well this eighth grade year. And as many of you know that Trenton goes, um, Trenton only attended school for like half a day. So he would usually be home by 12.45. So anyways, Trenton will be a freshman and he's excited to be going to the high school. Uh, the high school he'll be going to is the same high school I went to and graduated from and it's massive. So uh, this year's class, I think there was 224 students that graduated just alone in the senior class so um big big class because we're talking tyler's class is probably 80 students or less so that goes to show the difference in the schools uh, Trenton, we're going to have him start out going um, probably the same, be home about 1 o'clock. But Trenton is, he's looking forward to going to the high school. He's looking forward to extending his day. And Trenton just grew and matured his 8th grade year. And at the school here that we go to, that he went to the junior high, is always big on eighth grade awards. It was a big thing when I was in school. It was an honor to be chosen for an award. Um, they gave you an award, awards if you were just in, um, you know, participated in stuff, things too. But that was a big, big thing. And Trenton was chosen. I got an invite 
um, to the awards program. I let Trenton know he was going to be getting an award and he chose not to go. That's just not his thing, not his cup of tea. And I understand that. So we did not go to the awards program, but he got his award um, on the last day of school. And this was huge. When I say huge, Trenton has always struggled in school. Um, always struggled you you get you you know you get the good teachers and you know he excels but this year he absolutely loved school he loved his teachers as a matter of fact he stated he's going to miss his teachers this year but i'm going to go ahead and share trenton's award um it's the eighth grade outstanding growth mindset award which is huge for Trenton. Here is his little certificate. I'm going to keep this for him. I probably will put it in a frame or I'll put it in his book so he has it when he goes out on his own. But this was huge for Trenton. Very, very huge. So that just goes to show that he's really improved and he has showed, showed the teachers that yes, he he got it, he could do this. And then I wanna talk about an award Tyler received. Um, Tyler got the um, most improved for US history. And he's had an A all year in US history. So he was better at his US history than I was in school. But this is Tyler's award. So I'm going to keep this and I will frame it, and this will be one of the thing, one of the awards that are out on the table when we have his graduation open house next May. So, cause like I said, he will walk the stage with his class and get his diploma. So we're very, very excited for that. Um, things are still going well with Adam and I. Um, it's gonna be seven months. We just have so much fun together. The kids enjoy him. Everyone, it, it's just, you couldn't ask for a better fit. So, yeah, and then it's been really, really hot here in Northern Indiana the last about week and a half. We had some rain today. Thunder, thunder came through and some rain. And we uh, were waiting to hopefully uh, get word that we will be moving later this year. I think I mentioned it before, there is a, um, I call it a community, because it's like its own little community within my town. You know, they've built um, several houses, several duplexes, several um, apartment buildings, and it's really, really, really gonna be super, super nice. Um, they're gonna have a community center within it and a pool, racquetball, a fitness center. So we've went and we've looked at a few of the houses over there and we have a few in mind. So we are on a waiting list and they hope to have the roads put in over there uh, by the end of this month and then hopefully they'll be able to send out the applications sometime in July. Um, it's the same company that I currently rent from now, so I'm not worried, you know, about getting in. It's just when we will be selected to get in because they do have a very large wait list, but I don't know how many they have for homes and who's on for the duplexes and apartments and so on. So, we have been doing a lot of cleaning out of things. On Sunday, Tyler and I cleaned out the garage, got rid of so much junk, so much, got rid of that. Um, I cleaned out my, um, yesterday on uh, my lunch break, I cleaned out one of my cupboards that had all my coffee mugs, all my cups, everything like that. Um, we've taken a lot of donations to the Salvation Army and Goodwill. So we've just been kind of like in cleaning mode. So when we're ready to move, it'll be go time. So we have that to look forward to. And it's just really, really nice being 
home with the kids when the kids are home. Sorry, being home when the kids are home. So it is, it's just so nice. And I really do like my new job so far. I really, really like it. Um, so yeah, and Tyler, he's 17. He's out there looking for work. It is hard in my area for 17 year olds to find work. Um, he worked at UPS, as many of you know, uh, during the holiday season. And he was slated, they hired him back last week and they set him to come in today for orientation so he was excited about that but then last night they called and told him their policies have changed recently and you have to be 18 to work there so that kind of that totally took the wind out of his cell so he's went and put in applications at a couple other places an oil um, an oil change company and Walmart. So we're just kind of, you know, we're hoping he hears something on that. So other than that, our life is great. Things are going well. Couldn't be happier. Um, the dogs are doing well, but just a lot of cleaning out of things. So when it's time to move, we can pack things up and get moved into our new home. So we really are keeping our fingers in that cross that we can get over into the new um, new housing development center over there, center of community. I call it a community because it's massive. And yeah, I have a candle haul, imagine that. A candle haul I need to do for you all from Goose Creek Candles, one of my favorite candle companies. Um, but other than that, we're just all kind of staying busy, cleaning things out, you know, just getting things done and just, whew, yeah, I, my work schedule is, um, right now that I'm in training, it is Monday through Friday, eight to four 30. I absolutely love that schedule. Cannot complain. So yeah. I just wanted to pop on because I haven't been on in forever. We have not been to the Dollar Tree. We have not been to the Dollar General. Um, just really haven't been anywhere. I don't need to be tempted to buy more stuff. You know. <laughs> so, but we do have to go to the Dollar General, or excuse me, Dollar Tree this weekend because I do want to get some more cleaning supplies. Um, and yeah, so that's my life in a nutshell. Everything is going great. We could not be happier. Kai is over here laying on top of my chair. Coco, he's under the covers hiding. He didn't like the thunder when it came through earlier this afternoon. So I, my next plan is to get up and make some dinner. I'm gonna make spaghetti and garlic toast for dinner. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and say hi. I hope you're all doing well. Oh, I know I mentioned it, I think in my last video, I'm not sure. But my baby niece, my great, it'd be my great niece, she was born on Mother's Day. And if you're friends with me on Facebook, you've seen a lot of pictures of Little Miss, Little Miss thing. She's so, so tiny when she was born. She did have to be transferred, um, and they stayed in the NICU for two weeks. Her sugars uh, were low, and she didn't want to latch onto anything. But um, she's just, the, she's home, and she's precious, and she's just the sweetest little thing. You know, I just want to hold her all the time. So I went over on Saturday, and I held her for quite a while. But it's just so sweet to have a little baby in the family again. And mom and dad are doing fabulous, you know, cause it's rough, you know, when you bring the baby home and you're trying to get the baby, you know, on a routine and all of that. But she, they're doing fine. And she's just the cutest little thing. Let me see if I can show y'all a picture. Let me see from my phone. This is one of the pictures they had 
taken last week. There's my little baby. That's my baby niece right there. Oops. There. That is my little baby niece. She is just precious as can be. The night we held her, Trenton couldn't get enough of her. He was like, Mom, I want to hold her. Mom, I want to hold her. So, yes, so they're home doing fine. I'm a great aunt once again, and we're looking forward to spoiling her. So, yeah, that'll be the fun part. But she's got so many headbands, and it's she just looks so precious in them, and, oh, just just stinking adorable so i just wanted to come on and say hi and i hope you're all doing well because we're doing fabulous so i'll be back at some point in time with a video everyone i don't mean to stay so far away but you know i with being off work i was taking time and then now we're you know cleaning and going through things and getting rid of things and you know even if we don't get in in the first batch of people over there, we're hoping we get in on the second batch. So I just want to be pre be prepared um, for that so that I can bring in boxes and pack everything up and don't have to worry about going through things and saying, oh, got to pitch that, pitch that, pitch that. So I'm just doing it now, cleaning, getting rid of things, and it feels good. It felt good the other day to clean the garage out and see space we hadn't seen in years. <laughs> So have a great Tuesday, everyone. I appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and then the bell so you get notifications when I post a video. So all of us are doing well. It's summer and we're just hoping to enjoy summer. And when school starts back in August, I'll be a little weepy knowing it's Tyler's final months of school. And I'll be a weepy because Trenton's going to be a freshman. Ooh. Kids grow up fast in the blink of an eye, it seems like. Have a great Tuesday evening, everyone. And I'll be back with another video. Thank you all very much. Bye-bye.